That weird flipping, flailing thing that you're looking at right there? That was me as a kid. As I grew up, I was always the skinny guy. I was never happy with feeling small and weak, and always wanted to be big and muscular and jacked like the guys I saw in movies and on TV. Fast forward about 12 years, and uh, I've gained some weight. I've lifted a lot of weights, and I've learned a lot about both gaining and lifting weights. So if you're anything like I was, a skinny guy, you've probably heard, if you want to get jacked, you have to lift weights and eat properly. Let's talk about what the heck that actually means. Number one is calories. In order to gain weight, you need to take in more calories than you burn. You're gonna buy a scale, buy a food scale, download an app that allows you to track your calories and use it every day for two weeks. Weigh yourself every day. Weigh yourself naked or clothed before or after you go to the bathroom, but do it the same every day. Track your food and drinks and sauces and, well, maybe not vegetables because who the hell tracks vegetables? Track every meal every day for two weeks. You didn't think this was gonna be easy and brainless, did you? Now you got two weeks worth of data and that's the best starting point you could ask for. If you're already gaining weight, then awesome, keep doing what you're doing. If you're maintaining weight, which is probably the most likely case, then you're at your baseline or maintenance calorie level. If you're losing weight, then we've got some work to do, but trust me, we're gonna figure this out together. Now keep in mind, your weight will probably fluctuate up and down a little bit on the daily, but if there isn't a huge change in your average weights from week to week, then you're probably maintaining your weight. Let's start off with the maintenance group here. Now, if your body weight was roughly the same throughout the two weeks, then obviously we need to add some more calories into your diet. I want you to start with 500 calories a day. That's gonna give you roughly a 3,500 calorie weekly surplus, which should be the equivalent of about a pound of body weight gained per week. Now, if you're losing weight through the initial two weeks, I want you to add 750 calories per day. Track for another week or two. Notice if you're leveling out or starting to gain weight and then go from there. Now it gets a little bit more complex. Laying out your macros is the next step. No, not those kind of macros macronutrients. Macronutrients are a way that we break down the calories we consume so that we can dictate what those calories should be made up of in our diet. There are three macronutrients that we care about. That's gonna be protein, carbs, and fats. There is a fourth macronutrient, alcohol, but if you're bulking, beer is just bonus, right? The first macronutrient we're gonna lay out to break down your macros is gonna be protein. Now protein is four calories per gram, and the recommendation is 1.8 to 2.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Make sure you use a calculator here, folks. Second is fats. Now fats are nine calories per gram, and the recommendation is that you get 15 to 35% of your total calories per day from them. Our recommendation is to start with 25 and go from there. Third is carbohydrates. Now carbs are four calories per gram and you're gonna take whatever you have left in your daily calories and you're just gonna fill it with carbs. Now you're gonna take this plan and stick to it and continue to weigh yourself and weigh your food every day and every meal. And when you notice you stop gaining weight, I want you to add 100 to 200 calories through fats and carbs. Let me tell you from my experience that the most important thing is just to start. Just to start and learn from doing, learn from experience and learn as you go. Just go get a scale, go get a food scale and dive in.